Are you looking to be healed from an illness or a physical or, or mental ailment? A past hurt, maybe in a relationship? Hi, I'm Pastor Vicki, and I'm digital pastor right here at Discover Church. And on Fridays, we take a look at living our faiths in the 168 hours of the week. And to make sure that you don't miss a single video, just go ahead and click subscribe or follow to be alerted whenever a video is posted. Life is hard. Life isn't fair. And there's pain in life, and sometimes it feels like it can't possibly get any better. But there is hope. There is healing available to you right here, right now. Jesus knows the pain that you're experiencing. He knows what it is like to feel all alone. And he's offering to you healing from whatever you are looking to be healed from. And here's how you can know that Jesus wants to heal you. In the Gospel of Mark, we read in the first chapter how one day Jesus was visiting some of his friends at their house when he learned that his friend Peter's mother-in-law was gravely ill. So Jesus got up and he healed her right there. And the healing that Jesus showed Peter's mother-in-law is the same healing that Jesus is offering to you. He promises to stand with you through the pain and giving you peace through it all. Jesus gives you hope in all circumstances. He shows you that when it feels like the darkest, lowest moment, that, there's, that there is hope. There is a ray of light shining to remind you that this is not the end. You simply need to receive Jesus' healing and let him care for you, as he cared for Peter's mother-in-law. So here's a challenge for you. As Jesus is healing you, how are you sharing that with others? Do you know someone who's looking to be healed in the same way that you are? How can you share your own experience with Jesus healing you with them and share it so that they can begin to experience Jesus' healing in their own lives. God's love is meant to be shared with everyone and we can do that by sharing it with one person at a time. Have a great weekend and we'll see you in worship.